I'm Kelly, and I always consider oyster sauce vegetarian. Over the years, I keep telling Chris just add oyster sauce to the vegetarian food; it's fine, and he always thinks that I'm joking. However, growing up, I've even seen monks using oyster sauce, like literally oyster sauce, not vegetarian oyster sauce, in the food that they're cooking, and nobody seems to be freaking out. So all of that may seem very odd to you, and why is that? Well, that is because traditionally or historically, at least, Cantonese Buddhists and some other Buddhists along the south coast in China could and would consume oysters. Like in this older Cantonese cookbook that's written by an old chef and a culinary scholar, under their vegetarian section, some of the recipes actually uses、uh, oyster sauce. But that's sort of a unique thing, right? Not only among Chinese Buddhists, but、um, vegetarians in general. No one else seemed to eat oysters, so we got a little curious and decided to dig a little deeper. And we found two stories about why eating oysters were considered acceptable. So, first story. Ah,、uh, fair warning. It's. A little bit incoherent, and it feels like a mix mash with another classic Chinese Buddhist tale.、Uh, Mu Lian saves his mother,、um, but this one seems a little bit more commonly cited. And hear how it goes. So, the mother of a Luo Han is drowning in the sea, and then the Luo Han is trying to save his mother. Meanwhile, his tin stick fell into the sea, and then all the oysters came and stick on his. Tin stick. My guess is that the oysters are trying to help save his tin stick from, you know, sinking to the bottom. Anyway, after that, the Buddha announced that now oysters are converted to Buddhism and they are considered vegetarian food. And the end. I know it sounds not very logical. That's what I felt too. So I went and asked my dad to see if he knows anything similar, and then he actually shared a much coherent story that he heard when he was a kid. And that's our second story, and this is how it goes. So this is also a story about Luo Han. But this time, the Luo Han one day walks to the seashore of the South Sea and stick his tin stick into the sea, and sits in a lotus position waiting for A Nan and Ga Yi to come and take him crossing the South Sea. And I believe here, crossing the sea means his final advancement along the path of enlightenment. So anyway, the oysters got the message about this、uh, ferry of ascending. I don't know. And then oysters all came and stick on his tin stick, and followed the Luohan crossing the sea. And after that, oysters ah、uh, they all ascended and abandoned their physical form. And the Buddha big boss announced that. Now oysters are converted to Buddhism, and mortals can consume their physical material remainings that oysters left behind. Now, for us non-religious people, I think we can hear the stories and think that well, it sounds like Cantonese Buddhists are just really trying to find some excuse to consume some oysters, right? But I think it's something much more interesting than that because this is a space where dietary restrictions, which often proscribe fast and hard rules, bumped into the local agricultural reality on the ground, which is often something very blurry and dynamic. Because Guangdong is a place with abundance of seafood, and while a Buddhist may not want to eat a fish. But I mean, look at an oyster. They don't move. They just stick there. It's basically like a rock with protein inside. So I can totally understand the logic and reasoning behind it. However, while it's fun and all that, this is more of a traditional way of thinking. If you ask some Cantonese Buddhists or vegetarians now, they will probably tell you oysters are not permitted. Well, that is because the Chinese vegetarian community is also heavily influenced by the Western vegetarian movement, 
and a lot of the older practices and way of eating have changed, and you can't really、uh, distinguish the new from the old. If you ask my opinion on this,、um, well, we are definitely big believers in not lecturing people on their dietary choices, but I just want to share a little bit of my own personal experience here. So I used to、uh, keep vegetarian for a couple years before I met Chris and slid back to the dark side. However, during my vegetarian years, I've always used oyster sauce in my food without a second thought. Because oysters don't have a central nervous system, they can't move. If they can feel pain, probably lettuce can too. And oysters are farm; they clean the rivers. And oyster sauce can add a really nice complexity and depth to some otherwise vegan dishes. So why not just following the guidance of my proud Cantonese tradition? So right, no recipe for this one.、Uh, but as always, a big thank you for everyone that's supporting us on Patreon, and don't forget to subscribe for more Chinese cooking and occasionally cultural videos.